everyone, in this video, I want to show you guys a few methods to save your life when you're trying to dump the barbell when doing barbell bench press without a spotter. So I like to use two main methods, one using the safety arms and two using the hip drop method. I'll show both of them and then I'm going to explain one method that some people might use depending on the situation. So with uh, the safety arms, I like to set the safety arms right below my chest level uh, when I'm in my arch position. So I get to the barbell bench, I get the barbell to my chest, and then from here I have a little bit of space between the barbell and the safety arms. If I need to drop it, I just relax my arch, and there we go, I have some space to move, okay? Now, the second method is the hip drop method. What I like to do is press the barbell towards my hips if I feel like I'm failing. If I press towards my neck, there's a very high chance that it's gonna come towards my neck and I'm gonna die, okay? Especially if you don't have any safety arms with you. Now, because we have the safety arms with us, it's not gonna be the most best demonstration, but I'm gonna to try to show you guys how it works, okay? So, you get to the arch position, okay? You go into the barbell bench, you get to your chest, you can't press up, okay. Press towards your hip quickly, and then you can move your body around the barbell now. Nothing's crushing your chest, and you have some space to move, okay? Now, the only thing with that method is that it requires a little bit of practice. You probably won't be able to do it if you're doing it for your first time all the time, okay? You're going to have to practice it a little bit, uh, probably sets of 10 or 20 or so, before you do, you know, your regular bench press method or whatever uh, strength method you're using for your benching. So practice it a lot. Make sure you know how to actually, you know, dump the barbell onto your hips if you don't have any safety arms. Now, the third method is one where you don't have any clips on each side and you dump the barbell to one side, dump it to the other side. This has been popularized by a bunch of coaches and for a good reason is because, you know, it's a pretty easy method to use. Now, it really depends on the situation. If you have, uh, you know, a setting where it's a commercial gym, okay? And there's a lot of people around, it's probably not the best method out there. It's probably better used as a last resort because there's a lot of people around and if you dump heavy weight on one side, it can crush someone's foot. So you have to be aware of your surroundings very, very well. Now, if you're in a private gym or a gym that doesn't really have a lot of people come in and go, then you could probably use this method a lot more. But again, it really depends on the situation. So I recommend using safety arms first, hip drop method second, and then as a last resort, you can use that, uh, that teeter-totter or that no-clip method, okay? So be careful when you're benching. Please take these tips in mind because I don't want to see someone get hurt underneath the barbell when they're trying to do bench press, okay? I've seen a lot of things happen in my uh, in my time as a personal trainer. It's not pretty, okay? And you'd be very careful when you're trying to do bench press without a spotter. So use these tips, take care and be safe. Uh, if you guys have anything you guys want to go over, feel free to let us know uh, or let me know. Take care and see you soon.